The history of Blake High School is intertwined with the history of the African American community in Tampa over the past 70 years. Blake High School originated in the 1940s thanks to Don Thompson. In 1945, the Don Thompson Vocational High School was established in a government warehouse. The school gained a formidable reputation under coach Big Jim Williams, whom our football stadium is named after. Howard W. Blake was the first principal at Booker T. Washington Junior High School, a community leader and an exemplary role model. As a sports star at Claflin College, Mr. Blake helped facilitate the Florida Athletic Association. His motto was, sports make the person a team player with respect and concern for others. Mr. Blake died in March 1954, but the Yellow Jackets still bear his name. A lot of people don't know, but Mr. Tom, Mr. Don Thompson, who was instrumental in getting Don Thompson vocational high school started, was a Caucasian. A lot of people for years thought he was an African-American man, but he wasn't. He was a Caucasian. And I didn't know him. I didn't know Mr. Blake, but I did know his wife, Miss Margaret Blake. When Howard W. Blake opened in 56, she was assistant principal here. Between 1956 and 1971, the athletic department produced several championship teams in various sports. The school also began its long tradition of developing and nurturing creative talent in the fine arts. The 65-piece band earned overall superior ratings at district and state festival evaluations. The choral program was also one of the gems of the school and provided high-level group and individual training. I spoke to some Blake High alumni and they told me about the vocations that were offered at Blake High School. I, I, I took quantity food and that was a precursor to uh, culinary. We had uh, all kinds of classes. We had woodwork, masonry, carpentry, we had tailoring, we had uh, uh, radio, mm -hmm. typing, cosmetology, uh -huh. general studies, college prep, we had everything. She was a vocational school at the time yeah. when I attended, and I took woodwork, uh, hoping that uh, if I didn't get a scholarship, being an athlete, that I would have a chance of going on and uh, performing with the, the trade that I learned from Blake High School, which was woodwork. The uh, auto mechanic shops were the mails, and the dry cleaning, uh, radio and TV, uh, repair, and uh, that kind of thing were all male dominated, brick <laughs> masonry and construction. And the females were in the cosmetology, quality cooking, typing, and bookkeeping. The school closed after 1970 1971 school year and was reopened as a seventh grade center. This action was taken in an effort to meet desegregation needs. The closing of Blake Senior High School had many unintended negative effects on the inner city community. The alumni felt that Tampa had lost an essential part of the city's ethnic identity and heritage. They fought tirelessly for many years to have Blake reopen as a senior high school. Happily, those dreams were realized in the fall of 1997 when Howard W. Blake High School reopened as a traditional high school with a magnet program for performing, visual, and communication arts. When it was closed, it was a serious void in the community. And um, people who had been associated with Blake High School, uh, the Blake High School alumni, um, they were very interested in uh, what we might do to be able to reopen Blake High School. The original Blake High School became um, Stewart Middle School. And so, you know, they really wanted a high school in their community that they could identify with that had been part of their history. Not only did they want Blake High School to be a magnet school, but also have traditional and sports involved in the program. If students were in that neighborhood and got zoned into the school, that they would have a great opportunity to either become involved in the arts or to do other things at Blake. But the quality of education um, was a key um, support that um, you know, we felt that the whole school should be organized around. The school has reestablished many of the traditions of the original Blake High School with strong programs in business education, cosmetology, barbering, culinary arts, and JROTC. I think that, um, that the, the success of Blake High School um, is that we've now realized success and I only see that growing more. Um, I think it's really powerful to have a program at that school that brings together students with many different interests. Arts is clearly one part of it, but there are other students there that have a lot of different interests. 
and I think it's really powerful that we're that we're all able to have a successful school at that site and that academically they're successful in the arts they're successful and in all of the career technical programs and all of the interests that our students have so I'm really proud of that school the history of the Don Thompson vocational high school is a compelling story and the new Blake high school will continue to live on that legacy